Hey, hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, in front of me by here, I've got the SMMT data for all the registrations for November 2025. Um, now, before I go into the registrations, uh, when I was talking about the three, three pence per mile uh, car duty type thing for electric cars, and 1.5 pence for plug-in hybrids. Um, I didn't realise, you probably all realise now, but that is not going to be applied to vans, heavy goods vehicles, buses and motorcycles. Um, for now. <laughs> um, so that's quite interesting. No, I was looking for a van, c come to think of it. <laughs> uh, so I might get an electric van. Who knows? The only problem is, if my only vehicle was a van, when the time comes for me to take it, you know, I want to take rubbish to the tip, because you do take rubbish to the tip from time to time. If you've got a van, you've got to pay a fee. Um, so, swings and roundabouts. Um, now, the data for, SMMT data for November 2025. So let's dive in and have a look. Let's have a butcher's. Let's see what it's all about. Right, okay, figures for November 2025. We can see that year on year change registrations are down 1.6%. But if we look at petrol, that's down 5.9%. Diesel is down 24%. That's quite a big drop. Hev up 1.3%. Bev 3.6%. And Fev's 14.8%. So if we look at fuel type, like that. Now, Bev's not a massive growth, 3.6% change, which isn't huge, but is still up. Uh, 39,965. Fev's up 14.8%. Hev up 1.3%, like I just said. And here we go, look, petrol down 5.9% and diesel down 24%, which is... A big, big drop. Now, if we look year to date, 2025, Bev, altogether, 426,209 registrations. Now, if we look at petrol, that's down quite a lot, and diesel is down a massive amount. Only 5.2% market share. If we go back there, at the end of the year, look, it's only 4.7% share. Now, we got some form of electrification here, Bev, Fev, and Hev. Then the mild hybrids, I've said this before, they are in the petrol and diesel version. So the mild hybrids are also in this group here. Um, now, some form of electrification by here is over the 50% mark. We've only got, what have we got by here? We got 40... I'll try and do man maths in my head by here. 47, 48.5, is it? 48.5% came from combustion with mild hybrid. Sort of locked in, if you know what I mean. Now, there we go. That's them figures there. Now, just a quick look at the November by brand. And I always do like to have a little peek at Tesla. Now, Tesla, as you know, is all over the shop. One month it can be loads, and the other month it could be none. I think it's because it all depends. They're delivered in a certain way, I believe, um, in big lumps. And if I go down to Tesla for uh, November 2025, uh, 3,772 vehicles registered, and that's down, I says, minus 17%. So not a massive drop. Not a massive drop. Um, and I think a lot of people... Now, I made... I'm going to... A bit of a waffle by here. Um, I made a comment... Was it in my last video or the video before? Something about Elon Musk and his antics, okay? And somebody sent me a comment with a list of all the things he's did, like bring electric cars, blah, blah, blah. And I'll try and answer that person's question now, if they're watching this video. What I mean by antics is 
And they've done studies on this. They've actually done studies on this. Elon Musk's um, political views, okay, right? And I'm not affiliated with any particular party or particular... I'm sort of in the middle, okay? I'm middle-ish. I'm, I'm sort of middle-ish politics, okay? I'm not to the right. I'm not to the left. Maybe a, a smidge to the left, but mainly in the middle. Um, and I'm waffling by here, but the, the person said, what antics have Elon Musk been up to? And like I said, there's been studies and it's shown that the things Elon Musk says <laughs> um, has alienated some of the buying market buying a Tesla. It's the, the study have showed it, that when he sort of started becoming political, uh, it did have a bit of a knock-on effect on Tesla. I'm not making it up. It's a true story. So when I say Elon Musk's antics, some people get quite aerated about it. Some people, eh, and some people like it. Uh, so I thought I'd just bring that point up and pop that in by there if that person does watch. When I said antics, it's not good trying to say, look, he's, I've done any antics because people think he's done antics. <laughs> you all know what I mean. So you know, don't you? And like I said, I don't want to get political or anything like that in, you know, my videos. I don't want to get political. Um, so that's why I don't mention any Try not to mention political parties and blah, blah, blah. Because if you do, you're going to, you're going to annoy somebody. If you say, uh, I support so-and-so, then that's going to annoy people. It is going to annoy people. So anyway, all I can say in that matter is, I lay somewhere in the middle. Anyway, with that being said, let's get back to Tesla. Right, so Tesla. So 3,772. Um, now... Interestingly, well, I'll get to that bit in a minute, but Polestar, uh, 1,348. And that's, that says it's up 100% from last year. Um, now, last year was probably a low number, but Polestar are doing a lot better than they used to be. Um, now, we got some... A lot of names here popping up, uh, Chinese companies, and... I was looking at Cherry, for instance, 1,367 vehicles. Now, they're not selling BEVs. I went and looked on their website, and I think they're selling petrol cars and plug-in hybrids. Um, now, do you think a plug-in hybrid is a stepping stone or the gateway to a BEV? I don't know. If people, t if people buy a plug-in hybrid and they tend to just drive on the electric part of it mostly, then that might be a bit of a gateway. I don't know. Um, BYD, 4,637, and that's up 232%. Uh, and there's lots of names here. It's, it's all changing. The, 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 the way cars are being sold and everything is all changing. The names are changing. Geely, we got here. Uh, what do they do? 300... 53, they're sort of new in the UK. Leap Motor, 593. I think that's their best month so far, isn't it? I think so. Um, and if I go to 2025 by brand, I know I'm waffling a bit by here, but BYD, 43,740 vehicles in 2025 this year. And that's up 488%. So that's quite a lot. It's a massive change going on. Now, I did mention vans. Um, so let's have a quick look. Because I always miss this bit out. Let's go and have a look at the vans. LCV registrations. Okay. So if I go down, there's the fuel type here. And we have got, this is for November 2012 again. again BEVs under 3.5 tonnes, 2000. 799, um, which is change change up of 30.1%. Now, BEV rigids uh, between the weight of 3.5 and 4.5 tonnes 
is down minus 35.7%. Uh, by the way, diesels, uh, diesel vans under 3.5 tonne are actually down 29.6%. So there's a change happening there. It's a bit slow, that change, because electric vans, the first lot of electric vans were coming out with... Uh, they were quite lacklustre in their range and how far they could go. Um, and that is starting to change. We're starting to see, you know, longer ranges, bigger batteries, better vans. I, one of the worst ones was that, that um, oh, it was like a conversion, the v VW transporter conversion. And I think it had a small battery and you was lucky to get 50 miles out of it. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um, so... There we go. So that 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 there that's quite interesting because if I go to uh where is it fuel type year to date on electric vans, uh we got Bev minor in under 3.5 tons. That's up 45.7% for the for the year so far. And um, Bev Rigid's 3.5 to 4.5 tons is up 33.1%. That's year to date. And I am seeing a lot more uh, articles with electric, you know, heavy goods, proper lorries, proper big lorries, you know, the big, big meaty lorries. <laughs> I'm seeing loads and loads of articles where more and more HGVs, electric ones, I should say, are actually being sold. Anyway, bit of waffle in here for free. Uh, that's my sort of roundup there. Not a massive, massive number. For November, it's not much of a change for BEVs from the year before. Still up, still up. The growth is still coming from electrification. So there we go. So if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, do them nice things, and I'll catch you in the next one. Beep.